Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Linda, a nurse educator. You are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know, where we make it simple. Today we are reviewing a question related to perioperative nursing care. And here's the question for this week. The patient is scheduled for surgery the following day and you are the evening nurse assigned to his care. As you palpate to determine his pulse, you notice he is trembling. Upon assessment, his heart rate is 110 beats per minute and his respiratory rate is 20. His face appears fearful. The nurse recognizes these signs as anxiety. Which response by the nurse is most likely to stimulate therapeutic communication between the nurse and the patient? A, everyone is nervous before surgery. B, I know what they are gonna do to you. C, can you share with me what you've been told about your surgery? Or D, why are you scared? Well, when we go back to these options, A, everyone is nervous before surgery. This is really dismissive. It is not at all trying to get to understanding of what the patient's going through. So this is false because um, it's not, does nothing to diminish their fear. And it's very judgy. Uh, B, I know what they're gonna do to you. Well, that induces fear. And actually you don't know what they're gonna do to you because you aren't the surgeon. So saying something like that is again, not a very compassionate, empathetic response that they would consider therapeutic in your registration exam. C, can you share with me what you've been told about your surgery? That sounds very uh, welcoming. That is the correct answer, C, because it's inviting a dialogue. It's inviting the patient to tell you more so that you know, you're gathering assessment data you have touched this person's skin and felt them trembling. You've assessed a look on their face that is fearful, but you're trying to gather more data. And this is gonna be objective data, subjective data as you invite the patient to talk to you. So C is the correct answer. And D, why are you scared? Okay, and asking the question why is never correct. Okay, again, it's very judgmental. Um, and in the registration exam, the tone in a question why is, is not the kind of way I would say that kind of question, but it's a very why, why are you doing that? Very judgmental way of saying uh, the answer. So why is never correct? So it is, it is wrong. So the correct answer here is C, can you share with me what you've been told about your surgery? For the answer to this question and more, and for all concepts simplified for your registration exam, please check out our complete study package, which now comes with a money-back guarantee that we recently announced. Bye for now.